you guys just warming up, getting ready for my finisher. Yeah, I know normally you don't have to warm up for a finisher, but this one, I had to make sure I'm ready to go, all right? This is going to be a great finisher, and you're going to enjoy it a lot. It's an awesome finisher to go ahead and put with an upper body workout because it's going to not only hit your upper body great after you've crunched it, maybe with some chest and back work, but also now you're going to really rock your core because why? You're going to be putting in a lot of rotational movements, and you're going to be working reciprocal movements, which is how our body functions. Yeah, reciprocal movements or push-pull type movements like we're going to do are going to go ahead and crank up your trunk because you know why? One side of your body is pushing, one side of your body is pulling. Your trunk goes, I don't know what the heck to do. So you know what I'm going to really do? I'm going to stabilize. Yeah, I'm going to stabilize and keep myself stable, keep my center of gravity tight, and keep my low back safe so that you can go ahead and rock push-pull type movements. Are you ready to go? Hey, it's a little bit more of a challenging setup. You're going to need a band hooked up behind here. You're going to need a band hooked up there. You need a pair of handles. I'm going with red medium, small bands. You can go with black mediums. If you really want to rock some absolute strength, rock the purples and get them on. But what I'm going to be looking for, this is a finisher, so I want speed. I want my trunk really cranked up, and so we're going to go with speed. I'll be right back with you to knock this thing out. All right, let's get it going. Push, pull, reciprocal. I'm going to take you through, all right, not one, not two, but I'm going to take you through four rounds of this, or four sets. And while we're going through it, I'm going to show you how you can vary it up based on what you want to accomplish, all right? So let's get it going. All right, let me get this cranked up here. Grab this here. Hey, straight on, first of all. Parallel feet. If you want to go stagger feet, stagger the foot opposite the push hand. So we'll start with a stagger and then we'll go into it. Set. Now, what you're focusing on is getting a quick pull. Now you know you're going to be stronger with pulls. Now I'm going parallel feet. That's going to get my trunk floor. As I said, you know you're going to be quicker with pulls because that's where you're stronger. So the pull is what I focus on to make sure I'm cranking. Again, stagger. If you're going to stagger, stagger based on where your punch is. Speed. Crank in tightness. Come on. Blow it out. 50 seconds. You see what I mean? Right there. This is the beauty of it. Check the transition out. You just turn the opposite way. Right, my back's gonna beat to you now, but I'll still be talking to you. Again, notice how I back up a little bit. Now I'm ready to go. I'm working trunk stability. That's how I get my speed of my movement. Breathing is great. Breathing out as you punch. The speed of the pull is what gets my punch going. Let's stagger up. Finish up. Staggered stance. A little bit more friendly stance. You can create a lot more power. I'm gonna face you. Going here, going there. Locking in, set my hips, set. Now I'm gonna get a lot more rotation. Look at how I gotta load my hips. Come on. Come on. Rock it. Crank that pull. Crank that pull. Notice I rotate in a little bit. Load my system. It's not just stand tall and push, it's load. Load. The load is the key, guys. You gotta load your hips. Come out of it. Now you understand why red bands can get it done. You need a pair, though. And you need some handles. Come on. Go. We're rotating again. 
again. Not changing anything. Nope. Staying facing you. Tucking in here. You can go high low with your bands. That's another option. I gotta back up a little bit. Just. Okay, we're rocking reps. Decide what you want to finish at. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> 